Hi, my name is Sonu Lamba, and today we're going to learn how to make avocado toast. Avocado toast is still among the top ranked trendy breakfast options. It gained a lot of fame in the early 1990s, and it actually originated from Australia. Nowadays, you can find avocado toast internationally in all kinds of restaurants and cafes. I love avocado toast. There's a lot of benefits to eating avocado. An average avocado has about 160 calories. It has two grams of protein and 15 grams of healthy fat. There are nine grams of carbs in an avocado. Seven of those grams are actually fiber. So there's only two net carbs in an avocado, making it a low carb plant-based food. Avocados contain a lot of vitamins, including B, vitamin E, vitamin C, and vitamin K. They're a great source of folate too. Some of the other ingredients in our first recipe include some dukkha. So this is dukkha. Dukkha is an Egyptian spice. And dukkha is made with a combination of nuts, seeds, and spices. The nuts that you can find in dukkha can include almonds, hazelnuts, pine nuts, pistachios. The seeds can include things like coriander seeds, cumin seeds, and the spices include thyme, sometimes red pepper, salt, pepper. I love dukkha. Dukkha contains a lot of healthy ingredients and it really helps perfume this avocado toast recipe. We're gonna learn how to make two avocado toasts. The first one will have a dukkha base and then we're gonna pair it with some extra virgin olive oil, some lemon, and then finally some smoked paprika. The second version of our avocado toast will feature a wonderful root. So, I don't know if you know what this is. This is a watermelon radish. I love radishes. Radishes are full of antioxidants and they have a lot of fiber in them. They're a little bitter, but they really complement this dish. Radishes belong in the daikon family. And now you can tell why this is called the watermelon radish. This radish I got from PCC. So this will be option two for your avocado toast. So option one will contain the dukkha and the smoked paprika and option two will have our watermelon radish, and I'm going to pair it with another ingredient from the radish family. These are radish microgreens. So microgreens contain a lot of essential amino acids and they contain chlorophyll. So chlorophyll has some cancer fighting properties and it's really, really good for digestive health. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. So this brand is Mount Hood Microgreens. And then these are my microgreens for my radishes. And so these radishes will help complement the flavor of these. And I'll show you how I slice these. We're gonna use a mandolin in option two of my avocado toast. We are also gonna be using some salt and some pepper. And then we're gonna use two types of bread here. So the first bread is this one. This is from Grand Central Bakery. This is from Seattle. This is a Campagnola loaf. This is 100% whole wheat. This works really, really well for avocado toast. And then I also wanted to showcase another brand that I love. This is called Bread Farm. And Bread Farm uses amazing ingredients in their starter culture. And this particular one is the monster sandwich stone ground loaf and this is also whole wheat and this bread farm actually is from bow washington and their breads are fantastic they do a onion and rosemary loaf they do several great whole wheat organic loaves and you can find their products at the skagit valley co-op you can find it at the co-op in bellingham and of course some local farmers markets Great, let's get started. One more thing we'll talk about is how to select the perfect avocado. So I like to buy organic avocados. I've had better luck with them. I like to look at their texture. 
So they should be firm to gentle pressure. If I can go around this, just in a circle, this is fairly firm. It's not squishing in anywhere. It's not hard anywhere. If it's too squishy, it's overripe. And if it's too hard, it's not ripe enough. Also, ripe avocados have a darker color. So when selecting an avocado, look for your color and the pressure when you're gently touching it. It should be slightly firm. And this avocado should be perfect for us. Another thing I like to look at is if I'm using an avocado for a recipe where I'm mushing it, it should mush fairly well with a fork. If I have to get out my potato masher, that is too watery and that is not a good quality avocado. It should mush fairly evenly. Great. Great. So this is our first avocado option for avocado toast. It's a very simple option. We are gonna cut this avocado in half, fan it out, put it on some of our bread, and then we're gonna layer it with the duka, the Egyptian spice mixture, some extra virgin olive oil, salt, pepper, some lemon, and some smoked paprika. That's the first version. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my avocado. I'm gonna use half of an avocado for this first version, and I'm just gonna cut it this way, I'm gonna go all the way across until I see my cut from the other side and I see it. I'm just gonna go again. Okay, that looks great. I'm gonna hold it up quarter turn, just like that. It should come out perfectly fine like that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna take my spoon I'm gonna use the edges of this avocado, go right till the edge, get as much out as you can. If anything gets left behind, it's hard to get all that out. There we go, that looks perfect. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna do some very, very thin slices of this avocado, but I'm gonna be careful not to cut all the way through. So I'm gonna start here, Go all the way down, as thin as I can. Okay, that looks good to me. And then I'm just gonna push on it, just like that. Wonderful. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put my toast in my toaster oven, and I like it pretty crispy, so get this started. Great. Wonderful. So this is ready to go. So I like to have my bread toasted really, really nicely. It's nice and brown. It's crispy. So I'm going to take both my toast, put them right here. I'm going to scoop up my avocado like that. And I'm just going to fan it out. Just like that. Same thing here these nice rings. There we go. So this one is perfectly ripe. Press it down just like that. Okay, so to this, I'm going to take my duca. And so here's my duca. This is hazelnuts, almonds, coriander, cumin, some thyme, some rosemary, some red chili flakes, and some sesame seeds. And I'm gonna sprinkle it on here, just like that. If you've never tried this before, this is a very versatile herb. You can use it on hummus. You can use it on whatever dip you'd like. This is great on sandwiches. This is actually really good with just bread, olive oil, and just this. That's my favorite way to eat this. Next, I'm gonna add some salt. I'm gonna add some black pepper, just like that. I'm also going to add just a little bit of red chili flakes because my family loves this stuff. We go through this like all the time. 
pizzas, pastas, tofu scrambles. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add some extra virgin olive oil. And be generous with this because the way it is right now, it's kind of dry. So this extra virgin olive oil is gonna go in the toast, it's gonna go on the avocado, and it's just gonna help that flavor kind of perfume the whole thing. Okay, that looks great. Okay. And then the final ingredient is, I like some smoked paprika. So this is not spicy, this is smoky, and it just kind of completes the dish. I'm gonna add just a little bit of smoked paprika. Adds this wonderful red color. Great. And if you don't have this, you can use paprika by itself. You don't have to use smoked paprika. I just love it. Last ingredient. I like to squeeze a quarter of a lemon on each toast. So this will complete it by giving you that nice tart bite. And just make sure you've removed the seeds from your lemons so you don't get any of those bitter seeds. Look at that, that looks so great. You can entertain with this. You can do brunch, have people over. Okay, and it's time for me to try this. Let's try this fantastic recipe, avocado toast. So, I'm gonna put this one right here. I'm actually gonna cut this in half for myself. I'm gonna give this a try. Mm. Mm. So, I can taste the creaminess of the avocado. This is perfectly right. It's not overripe, it's not hard or chewy. It's a great spread. Avocado itself is very bland. The deca has nicely flavored it. I can taste the seasoning all through the bread. I taste that acidity from the lemon. It's tart, but not too tart. I taste smokiness from the smoked paprika. And then I taste these wonderful chilies through all, every single bite. You have to make this dish. This is fantastic. Avocado toast. Great. Option two for my avocado toast. Now this is fancy schmancy. You're having special guests over. You want to entertain like a Contessa. This is your avocado toast. So I'm using the bread farm bread. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my toaster. Two slices and we're gonna use the rest of this avocado. Let's toast that. Now this is more of a traditional recipe of avocado toast. I like my avocado intact. I like the slices, I like the texture. This is more traditional, so we're gonna take the pit out, we're gonna mash this up, kind of like a guacamole. So the way I take my pit out is, I'm gonna take my knife, I'm gonna hit it firm, just like that, quarter turn, it comes out. Take it off, great, clean. I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm gonna go on the edges of this avocado. I'm gonna to try to take out as much as possible. Let it go in there, scoop it all out. And this is a wonderfully mature avocado. This tastes good, it has no brown spots, it's not mushy, this was great. I'm gonna actually get myself a fork so I can mush this up. Okay, so we chatted a little bit about mushing an avocado. You should barely have to put force into it. You should mush just like that. This is great. This brand is excellent. I believe this is a Haas avocado. Very common avocado. To this, I am going to add a special ingredient. So we're gonna use something special today. This is truffle salt. I got this on Amazon from the San Francisco Salt Company. This is fine grain salt that's been mixed with black truffles. 
And these truffles are actually from Italy. Truffles are a mushroom, a very, very tasty mushroom and a very expensive mushroom. So I'm gonna take, if you can look here, you can see these little black specks. These are the black truffles right here. And they have a wonderful smell and they have earthy and salty and savory notes. So I'm gonna add just a little bit in here, a couple of pinches. Great. I'm gonna add just a teeny bit of pepper. In goes the pepper. Okay, now I'm gonna add some lemon juice. This is about a quarter of a lemon. Take these seeds out. Great. Okay, I'm gonna mush this up like that. Great. So give my hands a wipe. Okay, next part. I am gonna take my watermelon radish. So here's my watermelon radish. I'm gonna take my mandolin. Carefully, I'm gonna slice this. I have it on a, between a level one and a two, and it's gonna make these very, very perfect thin slices. If you've never used a mandolin before, maybe watch a YouTube video on it. You have to be careful because it's got this blade. And look at these wonderful rings. This is just excellent. Look at the color. This is why this is called a watermelon radish. This belongs to the daikon family. I just love this color. I mean, you can't, you can't beat that. You could use a plain, just a ordinary radish, but you know, there's something just so special about this one. A few more rings. Okay, and I'm gonna stop right there. Great, toast is almost done. Put it in for another 30 seconds. Okay, put my mandolin here. I'm gonna get myself a plate. Okay, so let's get all my ingredients ready for this. Got that. Okay, and I've got some radish sprouts. So I'm gonna show you how to plate this now. So out comes my toast. You can see it's nice and brown on both sides. Okay, I am gonna smear this avocado mixture as the base. So again, this is the more traditional avocado toast. I'm sure you've had one where the avocado is all mushed up and it's more like a base layer. Okay, we're going to gently pat it down just like that. Okay. Okay, that's, that's great. We put this on, we just can't waste this. This is too good. Okay, so I like the way this looks. Next, I am gonna take my watermelon radish and I'm gonna layer it. This is layer number two. There we go. Two and three. And this is all about the presentation. If you wanna put more, go ahead. But I like to have a periphery of the green because it looks great when you're doing a fancy brunch. Okay, next, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of these radish microgreens. Let's just put a little bit like that. Okay, so radish microgreens, just like that. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of black sesame seeds for color. And I think that black really looks amazing with the green, the purple from the watermelon radish. Finally, you gotta dress it up with an extra virgin olive oil because it has no liquid, it has no moisture. Now you can also use whatever flavored olive oil you have. If you happen to have like a garlic infused extra virgin olive oil or a basil infused extra virgin olive oil, use it. Even rosemary will work. Okay. Finally, 
I am going to add a little bit of pepper. And this is done. Ta-da! Great, time to taste it. So I'm gonna take one of these, I'm just gonna slice it in half. Okay. Mm. So this tastes very different from the first one. I love the lemon in the avocado. Adding that lemon initially, mashing it all up, the whole bite is nice and tart, but it's paired really nicely with a bitter radish. The radish is just slightly bitter. And then the greens just help accentuate the watermelon radish flavor. I like the crunch from the black sesame seeds. Mm. This would go so wonderful for like a brunch party, if you're doing a potluck, if you're doing like a girl's brunch party at home, or even for the family. You know, a lot of kids are eating avocado toast nowadays. This may be a good time to introduce some greens. The truffle oil in this dish is also, um, you, can, you can smell the mushrooms, you can taste it. Overall, I feel the second option just comes together um, really, really well. And uh, this just makes for, you know, a wonderfully plated meal. I mean, we eat with our eyes first. How can you not eat this? This is, this is amazing. Thanks for watching. Gotta make this.